Hey, today I'm talking about the new musical movie, Wicked, part one. Was I hyped for this movie? Yeah, obviously, oh my god, so hyped. In the mid-aughts, I was able to see an off-Broadway version when they went to Chicago, and it was incredible. I loved it so much, and I have been dying for a film adaptation ever since, and now we have one. This version stars Cynthia Erivo and Ariana Grande, and is just amazing. If you're somehow unfamiliar, the basic premise is it is a revisionist exploration of the events of the Wizard of Oz from the perspective of the Wicked Witch of the West. In particular, this one just focuses on her life prior to that, more so when she's at university, and it's just wonderful. It's about prejudice, it's about racism, it's about using minorities as a scapegoat for everyone's problems, it's about believing in yourself, about building confidence, navigating wanting to be liked by everyone even though people hate you type of thing. And it's about vanity and it's about so much and it balances all those things so wonderfully well. I will say it has some flaws, but the flaws are so overshadowed by everything else that I really didn't mind them. I will just very quickly say them. The weakest part of the movie is the very beginning, not the song, but the editing. They needed to get to the university faster, so like the prologue of like Munchkin Land, they shortened that section and because of that that section suffered a bit. There was some noticeably bad editing there. They also put a lot of CGI over the top of really impressive sets and that was a little disappointing because the sets are really really cool but like because there's so much CGI over the top of it it just looks more fake. And that's it. Those are really my only complaints. Everything else I loved. Let's start with probably the most important thing is they freaking nailed the casting. I knew as soon as they announced Ariana as Galinda that that was the perfect choice that she was going to nail this character. She can sing, she can act, she's hilarious. Galinda is so funny. Such an incredibly well-written character. She is like this dumb blonde type of stereotype, but also she's not just dumb for dumb's sake. She's just kind of ignorant. She hasn't had a need to put thought into more stuff other than just, you know, wanting people to love her because she's just a spoiled rich girl. And over the course of the story, she understands she needs more depth. She understands she needs to think about things in a more constructive way. And Ariana nailed the nuance. So many little things about her portrayal of her that I love. The way in which she would like, you know, flip her hair and stuff. And she had like little mannerisms that definitely were an homage to the original Broadway actor that I just loved. I could talk about Ari for forever. Let's move on to Cynthia though, because Cynthia, oh my god, oh my god Cynthia. Cynthia was so good. She did such a great job with eye acting, like I could really really read her soul there, which for me personally I'm not a big like connecting to people through their eyes, it's kind of more other stuff, but Cynthia really just drew me into her eyes and I could feel so much there. And again she was so good with like just really small subtle things. Like the dance scene with her and Ari was so brilliant. That's the scene where my mom cried. It's hard to describe just all of the nuance of how Cynthia just crushed it. But she did. She really truly did. I gotta get on to other stuff though. I gotta talk about more stuff than just them. <laughs> they were just perfectly cast though. I cannot praise the costumes enough. The costumes were amazing. I love them so much especially once Cynthia put on the final outfit, I was like, oh my god, yes, this is amazing. I love the hat too. The hat was just perfectly designed. So good, so good. Also, I crazy loved her glasses, the asymmetricalness of them. They were great. All of them were just awesome. All of them were perfect. There was not a bad costume. I gotta quickly shout out my boy, Bowen Yang. There's a very minor character in this, but he crushed it like everyone else, and he was just delightful to see. And I was just like, hey, it's Bowen, and he's doing his thing. It was great. The story is just so perfect. I love the story so much. I love on all the things that it touches on. I love the whole plot with the animals. I can relate to on so many different ways because it's, you know, about an oppressed people just getting blamed for all the world's problems. Yes. And it's also animals getting caged and tortured. There's just so much there for me to grab onto and love. I just don't have enough time to explain all of the little things that I love about it. It just really, really works. Of course, the dancing in this is amazing. So many just great moves, unique moves that are just a lot of fun. Like the library song where they're going around the circle books thing. That's really neat. I really love how the pretty boys dance. He had lots of like horse related movement that was very subtle but it really tickled me. I don't know man, I could just go on and on and on with praising this movie. There's just so much to it that I'm just like yeah no they nailed this and they nailed this and they nailed this.
this. This is a great movie, fantastic movie. I love it to bits. Wholeheartedly recommend it. Even if you're not the target demographic, you can still have a really fun time with this movie. Just the theater vibe alone is worth the trip. So yes, no, Crazy Loved would recommend. And now for my ranking, I put this at number 11 in the really like section. And this is out of a total of 101 new movies so far this year.